Come in. It's a welcome Justine Heron waited years for. Very beat up floors and like all green carpet. But finding her dream home in Los Angeles wasn't easy. I just continued to save my money and had the full like plan that I wanted to eventually own a home. As a recent first time home buyer, she is part of a growing trend. Single women not waiting for a partner to purchase a place of their own. The order used to be marriage, home, children, and now that order has just shifted. And according to multiple studies, she's not alone. The number of single women who own a home by themselves is greater than the number of single men who own a home by themselves. Jacob Channel is a senior economist at Lending Tree. There is some data out there that indicates, hey, women are maybe more willing to make financial sacrifices to become homeowners. They might just be more interested in being homeowners generally. They might be better at planning and getting their finances in order so that they can buy a home. In a new report, Lending Tree found that single women own almost 13% of homes in the U.S., whereas single men only own 10%. This doesn't magically mean that everything is going amazing for American women. Channel says not only is there a wage gap, but sometimes women are stuck with higher interest rates. And when it comes to first-time home buyers, the difference between men and women is even greater. According to the National Association of Realtors, last year 19% of home buyers were single women, 10% were single men. But look at their average incomes as the single men made around $83,000 a year, single women, 69,000. I'm not surprised. Women in general are strong and resilient, but also from a societal standpoint, I think it's very much ingrained in young girls' heads to always plan for the future. So plan she did. And although this homeowner doesn't hope to be in the single category forever, Heron now has the security and satisfaction of knowing she has a safe place to call home. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.